ladies, can I just see some personality going on there? Can we just do the personality, personality, personality? Happy Women's Month, and as challenging as these times are right now, it's good to celebrate and acknowledge the role we play as women entrepreneurs to growing our economy now and as we look to the better times ahead this is our month let's do what we do best you struck a woman you struck a rock because inside of us we are resilient to the core and that's the resilience of the human spirit it's tina playing a managing executive sector and segments private and business banking whether it's for your business or for you personally uh, where you seek relief, we're here to help. You know, be prudent, be efficient, don't waste money. This is a time to tighten your belts, obviously, as you know. But be pra- brave, look in the long, t- look to the long term. We certainly are. The next year or two are not going to get, be very easy years for us. Um, it's going to take us a while to get out of this, but we will get out of it. So I just want to leave you with a sense of hope. You know, the word Africanacity was coined by APSA when we relaunched our our brand. Um, And there are two very important words in that word, which is I can. And that is the, um, the sense I want to leave with you today. She is a multinationally anchored citizen, strategist, brand builder, speaker, teacher, and champion for free entrepreneurs. And she'll tell us more about what this term means. Welcome, Sizagele Marutlule, the CEO and founder of Marutlule and Co. Creativity is the ability to just imagine, you know, to just connect dots in new and interesting ways. Collaboration suggests that you know your strengths and you understand and recognize the strengths in another person. When we come together to celebrate our unique flavors and our unique unique approaches to things, we don't necessarily diminish each other. If anything, we, we, we treble the opportunity for growth. We are many selves, you know, I am the boss self, the daughter self, the partner self, the sister self, the patient self, sometimes the nervous self. But across many of those expressions, there needs to be a golden thread. And that golden thread is your purpose. What is your purpose? And therefore, how does your business translate your purpose to the world? Because your business has to be able to solve for humans. We say that we should be focusing on humans, not consumers, because we're consumers some of the time, but we're human all of the time. It's entrepreneurs to the power of F. Right? Um, they have very unique gifts. They're very clear that they are gifted. They're very clear that they want to generate growth for themselves and for others. They are incredibly generous. Um, they have grit, so they have come through fire and emerged stronger and a lot more compassionate on the other side. But more importantly, they also have this idea that they want to be great and are willing to do the work to get to that place. We're always gonna be faced with the two terrible C's, I call them, crisis and change. These are constant in our business lives. These are constant in our personal lives. So how you have addressed and adjusted to this particular crisis means you've just grown a muscle. But ladies, please don't forget that when you have another opportunity and you are confronted by something else, remember that you've already overcome. The fact that you're still standing and that your businesses are still thriving is testimony to your resilience. So please don't ever forget when that small voice says, oh no, I can't do this. I don't know how to overcome this. Look at your pool of evidence. Because if you looked at what you have done over the last 100 days, I challenge you that you will find ways in which you have overcome. So you have it in you. It's already there. Ours is just to quiet our minds so we can truly, truly understand the source of our power and use that power to move all of us together. You cannot grow a business at the expense of your spirit. You cannot grow a business at the expense of your joy because you got into business to cultivate your joy and share it with the world. 
So I would encourage you to develop a spiritual practice. Find time that is just yours and yours alone. Because in a world where we're surrounded by takers, self-care mm. can, can sound like a revolutionary act. You were born to do this thing. It is here for you to fulfill. So step into the light, Bogota. Step into the light. <laughs>